What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Solo Leveling Episode 4. Super anxious, super nervous, and excited about getting into it. We are live on Twitch watching this, so if you guys ever want to come get these live vibes, come on over, twitch.tv slash Darius. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions. I'm not going to waste any more time. Solo Leveling Episode 4. Let's do it. All right, after a few minutes of Crunchyroll crashing, we are in the Solo Leveling Episode 4. Let's get it. Left off with a steel fanged lichen. My boy Jin Woo putting in work. Okay, Mr. Mobile. I mean, your strength is you've been putting a lot of those ability points into strength. It makes sense. Those ability points are putting in work. Imagine straight throwing hands with a steel fanged lichen. Oh, he does have those inventory screens now. I love the way they animate him pulling stuff out of his inventory. Chop that motherfucker. Oh my god, his head clean into. And he's just healing like that? Oh, it's not over yet. That's how strong you slash them off. <laughs> you got your sword stuck into the ground. The music is hitting right now, though. All right. <laughs> yeah, we just got the sword. No way you're gonna. Who wants? <laughs> oh. Yeah, once you've gone through that, everything that happened down on that altar, I agree with your mentality. Get this motherfucker out of here, scared little pussycat. Shout out my boy Jin Woo. Level two. Still no job, still no title. All stats just go up by one when you level up and you get health back. I love that. Such like a video game. That would be insane if they do. Cannot buy anything at your level. He's level locked. Oh, I love this. This is so much like a game. What kind of currency do we get? Just, oh, 20 gold? Oh, I love this. I know I've said this in previous episodes, but I love how intellectual my man is. He's just... He observes things so well. He's gonna do a little bit, a little bit of training, a little bit, a little bit of level farming. He makes a valid point. You have technically died before, so maybe some AOE magic would be useful right now. But my man is just going crazy. Okay. Let's make it intense. He's just as invested in this as I am. Oh my god. I love how they're animating the slashes like that. My man is level forming. Title Wolf Assassin? You get achievements and shit for doing specific tasks? I mean, just things in general. What level did he end up? Like, I wonder if that thing was like kill 25 lichens in a certain amount of time, you know, like a... all abilities plus 40 percent. Well, I want to know specifically what that said. 34 wolf fangs is a good amount of money. The title given to those skilled at hunting wolves, animal type monsters, all ability. Oh, see, I love the video game aspect of this. I love it. Two worn daggers, a traveler's cloak. Hey, this is random loot drops per, you know. Probably a 1% drop rate, but he got it. True, but I love the way you break down and deduce, you know? Like dancing atop a Buddhist palm. That's the real question. Ultimately, whatever you decide, I'm with, you know? Got some good experience. He's moving forward? Is he putting that back in his inventory? I think he is. Is that Juhi? 
What's up, girly? Dungeon Break is when it, it doesn't get dealt with, right? And then they can start coming into our world. Razor Clawed Briga? Briga? Black Shadow Razan? Man's putting in work. This is so much like a game. Red means they're over leveled for you. Oh, I love this! Because you've been leveling up. You can sense it because his perception's gone leveled a little bit. Oh! Level 15? Is he going to leave now? Understandable. Like I said, I respect whatever decision he makes. And he's still going forward. Shout out my man. Wonder what it's going to be. Is it going to be more of a monster? Is it going to be something humanoid? Like the first boss in the first E rate or D rank dungeon, like the first episode that Song took out, was like a werewolf, right? I love this environment right now. This looks eerie as all shit. Was it a snake? I saw a big tail. A sea serpent? What could it be? Oh, that is ginormous. Blue Venom Fanged. I didn't even get that last word. And of course, it's armored scales. So how do we take care of this? We don't have a sword to penetrate and we can't do it barehanded. Turn that sword into a dagger. I love the way they're animating this. Oh my god! Man, tank that. And its underwater attacks are just as potent. First off, the way they're animating this, A1, you guys are killing the game. No joke. Second off, I am loving how this fight is going right now. Imagine the XP we'll get from this boss, though. Shout out Song, man. Mr. Song. Respect, and that's the arm he lost, I'm pretty sure. You can tell how much exponentially stronger he's got, the fact that he's able to actually withstand some of these hits. Whoever the voice actor is for Jin Woo kills it. We learned that in the second episode. He's all those things except strong. But when faced with strong, none of it will save you. Kindness won't save me, so I will become stronger. The music is going crazy right now. I'm getting geeked. I do love that that was our first big obstacle because anything compared to that is going to be nothing. Bro, this animation is going insane right now. What are you going to do? Choke it? Oh my god. Physically just break those scales? Choke this man out? Oh, I love when they do the dark, heavy lines like this. Oh, my God. Man straight up ripped out his fucking throat with his bare hands. Bro, Jin Woo is a fucking legend. We're only four episodes in. Oh, my God. Multiple. Oh, I'm so glad, bro. If this is how this show was going to go from here on out, this show is... Gonna be incredible. King of the Swamp, Kasaka, the Blue Venom Fanged.
That is such a clean looking dagger. From its fangs. Oh, I want to see what specific he got. Opponent. He... C rank dagger with paralysis. And with like poison built into it. Minus 1% per second. Oh, bro. This. This show is going to be. We got like fucking. Oh, I'm going to love this show. I can already tell you. We had a dungeon break. Yes, sir. I can actually help out. Bro, this is going to be so fire. Yeah, I'm just nervous about what beast made it out of the gate. Just one big one left. Bro, I love how they. What is that? A an elemental? A rock golem? I like how he's the one saying that. AD ranks, 2D ranks. She's still a little traumatized from what's going on. I can't blame her. I genuinely cannot. Genuinely, if you went through that, I cannot blame you. It's a D-Rang boss. Oh no. Oh no. There's no way. Is my man gonna throw that? That broke through his defenses. Now they're gonna be able to finish it off, and he's not even claiming credit for this. Oh, that was such a swaggy move for Jinwoo to do. Oh, that was gangster as hell. What suddenly shattered its defense? I wonder the same thing. And he's already gone, bro. That makes him even more gangster to me. Someone as ridiculed and as mocked as him, who's not taking credit for something like that. Look at the fucking muscles. My man was four. Come on. Mm -hmm. Or you're just that gangster, my friend. Can Juhi see that it's him? Oh, thank the Lord. At least she saw. I'm watching at least... I'm watching at least 15 reactions this episode as soon as I'm done editing. That shit was a banger. Oh my god. All right. That episode blew me away in the best way possible. I know you guys can't tell because it's on YouTube, but me going from four episodes of Amazing One Piece into this, one of the best streams, one of the best recording sessions I've had. I, A1, I gotta give you guys a round of applause. You guys are killing it with this adaptation. And people who've read the manhwa are only telling me it's gonna get better and better. And this is still like, or, oh my God. With how many references there are to video games, any video game nerds out there who've played RPGs like this are just getting, it's, it's literally the perfect video game in anime form with the mix. And it's so dark. It's so gritty. Jin Woo is such a gangster legend from him can single with just his bare hands, taking down the in Kasuka, the blue venom fanged to him getting cool gear, leveling up, distributing attribute points of God. Nah, bro, this show, this show is going to make its rounds. I know there were so many people on my TikTok asking me who have never even heard of solo leveling before this anime came out because they're not too hip on the game, not too, you know, especially with it being a manhwa, but I can tell after this season's done, everyone's going to know what solo leveling is because these episodes are insane. And the way that he didn't take credit and was so humble at the end there, like, I, and with how, like, the pacing is insane as well, with how fast he's leveling up and putting in work. And I love how observant and intelligent he is not just from his ability points he's putting into intelligence, but just in general, he's able to deduce situations and think because he's been on the precipice of death so many times. Nah, my man Jin Woo's, he's already getting up there. He's already getting up there in the gangster, the GOAT level, like I'm serious. Oh man, that episode went by so fast.
I gotta get on editing quick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like on this video. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Damn, these episodes are good. Peace out, Daphne Quad.